Welcome, welcome. We are going to get started in the next five minutes. Uh, feel free if you know any energy healers that might appreciate this Q&A or someone who's interested in the AO scan. Um, my wife and I are going to be sharing some, some great stuff today. And uh, again, just you can feel free to invite them here. This will probably be the only event we're kind of allowing everyone in um, for the free Q&A. Um, usually this is a Patreon thing, but um, again, we just wanted to open it up just to see if we can add some value today. So thanks for being on here. We will start in five minutes. Welcome everyone. Welcome Holly. Welcome Melissa. Welcome Paula. All right, we're just gonna wait two more minutes. And again, if you know any energy healers that would be interested in this Q and A, you can still send them the information, and um, you can have them come on here. Recording. 
All right, everyone, we're getting started. Give us one second here so you guys can see us. Oh, good. Cool. I look pretty good today. All right. Um, first of all, for those of you who don't know, uh, this is my amazing wife, uh, Jessica. I'm so grateful that she wants to come on and she's going to be, for those of you who have been on, um, on Patreon, uh, you've noticed that um, we're about to go on like a very consistent podcast where I think she does one AO scan training, uh, like a tip or a hint once a week, and then one uh, podcast where him, her and I are talking together. So if everyone wants to send her some love or send some positive things about her, because I'm very, I, I want her to speak more. I want her to, you know, she has so much great information to share. She's a wonderful spirit. She's an empowered empath and she has so much to offer. And if there's anything that I can do to kind of help her in her journey to add value to you guys, then, then that's great. So thank you guys for coming on here. I appreciate everyone here. And so, um, but yeah, let's do it real quick. Um, I know we have a, a small group here, um, but it's gonna, it might get bigger. So just, if you guys really want real quick, maybe you wanna introduce yourself, just like I said, let's just take 30 seconds, all right, everyone, uh, to introduce yourself, maybe how, how long you've been doing the emotion code, body code. Maybe you're not a body code person, maybe you're an AO scan person, but just real quick 30 second intro about yourself just so everyone gets to know who you are. So um, I'll just choose on you and just if you want to un unmute your mic, you, you can show your video if you want, or you can just talk, it's okay. Uh, but let's start off with uh, Melissa real quick and then I'll just kind of go around and, and choose everyone. Hi there, hi Emmanuel, hey. hi Jess. Can you guys hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you just fine. Perfect, um, I started Emotion Code and now getting my body code certification um this month so hopefully that goes through emotion code i've been doing just since december um i yeah that's all <laughs> nice cool. to meet you guys <laughs> all right nice yes glad you're here um all right holly do you want to introduce yourself real quick hi aloha um i'm holly um hi <laughs> i've had the ao scan for a couple months and um as far as the body coding, I actually do a lot of dowsing. So I'm not certified or anything like that, but I'm learning the dowsing, clearing, using the rods and the AO scan. And um, yeah, just looking forward to being part of the future of frequency healing. Sweet, love it. That's so cool. Dowsing in the house. Mm -hmm. um, all right, Paula, if you wanna introduce yourself real quick. Hi. Um... I'm Paula. I've been a emotion code practitioner since uh, 2019, and I became a body code practitioner this year. Um, I did an AO scan. Um, I don't know how you call it, like a, a session with uh, Jess, and I loved it. Um, very interested in knowing more about that. Great. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, uh, Hassan, go ahead and uh, if you can introduce yourself real quick. Yeah, hey, you guys, how's it going? Uh, so my name is Hassan, I'm a college student actually, and uh, I am neither a certified uh, body code or emotion code practitioner, but I do practice. Uh, I have the app and I practice on myself, uh, close family members and friends. Um, I did a, uh, an AO scan session last month with, uh, or maybe about a month and a half ago with uh, Jessica, uh, and you know, I love it. So, um, Awesome. Welcome, Hassan. I'm glad, glad you're here. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, this is so cool. I wish we could all be in a real room and actually like hang out and stuff. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so maybe one day, maybe one day we'll all hang out. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Um, thank you for sharing. Um, Colette, you want to introduce yourself? Yes, I um, in, am in my body. Oh, sorry. You, you got muted. Sorry about that. <laughs> you can unmute yourself. <laughs> Is that better? Okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, um, I am in the middle of doing my body code certification. I just found this, um, I found the, the emotion code back in August and I'm really excited to see what it's gonna do for me in the future. This work is really cool. So thanks for uh, doing these webinars and stuff. I'm excited to hear more about the AO scan as well. Cool, great, so glad to meet you and glad you're here, Colette. Um, all right, so we got three more people here. All right, so Victoria, go ahead. I don't know if Victoria could hear me. Is 
Okay. All right. So we'll, okay, we'll go to the next one here. I was gonna go. I was gonna Earth to Victoria. Okay. So all right, let's go to let's go to Haley. Um, Haley, if you want to introduce yourself real quick. Hi, my name is Haley. Um, I am certified in no way at all. Um, my hairdresser <clears throat> is actually um, training to be a body code practitioner, and she's really gotten me into this. So um, she sent me the link to this video, and she was like, "You need to get on this. Um, it'll be really interesting." So. Well, well, glad glad you're here. Um, so glad you're here. So I think Victoria, you're ready to. I think Victoria, did you hear that? Or not? Okay. So um, all right. So we'll go to uh, uh, Stepanka. If you want to go ahead and introduce Stepanka, is that right? Ste Stepanka. Stepanka. I don't know. Yeah, it's Stepanka. Hi guys. Uh, uh, come on. <laughs> Hi, I am uh, an emotion code practitioner and I'm just uh, working through the body code. It's amazing. I'm having so much fun with it. Um, I found out about this because I'm on Patreon. I follow Manuel's commentary. It uh, makes me so happy. I love listening to it every time a new one comes out. And I also am part of the AO scan. I got my own device at the end of March and have been in contact a bit with Jessica and that's been really lovely. So I'm super pumped about all of this and I'm really excited about this meeting today. Cool. Glad you're here. And by the way, we are going to hear from my wife because she has so many things to say. And I know you guys brought up the uh, Patreon here. Some of you guys are not aware of what that is. All it is is I wanted to start an accelerated learning group where we can learn about uh, energy healing. I'm, I'm right now. I'm reading the Emotion Code. And I'm reading ten pages every day, and I'm doing a commentary on it. And uh, and I'm doing commentary on it. And what's happening is. Uh, uh, you know, my seven years of experience, I can always add a little tidbit there, tidbit there, hints and tips. And also we're going to do this for those who are Patreon. Next month, this won't be free, but this is like, if you are part of Patreon, uh, you can join us every single month. We're going to have a Q&A uh, together. And so I'm glad you're here. And, and we just want to add value there. So I, I put the link below. So if anyone who's who's like, oh, I'd love to check that out. I would love to hear a podcast Monday through Friday. Oh, whoops, I sent it to the wrong person. <laughs> uh, technology, okay. Um, but yeah, so I'll, so I'll put it on the, on the comment section. So if you're, if you're not on Patreon and you wanna attend this once a month, then you'll be hooked up. So, um, so here we go. And then also the last person is um, uh, Cyan. Yeah, so Cyan, if you wanna share your- uh, Hello, hi guys, hi. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, so I'm just doing an intro, am I, about where I am in my journey. Um, <clears throat> so we, uh, so I've, I've just been a client of yours for, what, since December 2020. <clears throat> um, and since then, I've just kind of been on my journey. I still cannot muscle test. Um, however, I managed to get my husband to test. We bought um, a Boba Dowser tool and uh, I couldn't use it and I still can't and I... I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but um, my husband, Daniel, it works really well for him. Um, so he's, we've kind of been learning this with him being the person driving it. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, we've been doing that for maybe a month or two now, um, slowly going through and learning how to do it. I have to Google like what questions to ask and stuff. So that's where we're at. Um, and eventually want to be able to do this myself. I work in IT at the moment and I just don't want to be here anymore. You know, since my heart <clears throat> wall was released, I think I'm just not happy what I'm doing anymore. And um, yeah, I would like to be a healer eventually, so. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks for being here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. All right, so I think we have two more people left here. Uh, so we got Nancy, if you want to kind of share a quick 30 second story and we have one more other person here. <laughs> okay you're i think you're on mute <laughs> hi. Hey, hi hey nancy yeah tell us a little bit about yourself like 30 seconds so, so um um i live in vancouver and i work in the film industry and i'm also a uh, financial advisor um, I had my 26th year anniversary yesterday and I have two boys, one of them who works in the film. He wants to be an actor and, um, yeah, 
I've been working with Melissa. She's amazing. And I'm super into all of this. And I have been for a really long time. And I'm so excited to be here. That's great. Glad you're here. Um, Thanks. Uh, you're in Canada, you said, right? Yeah, Vancouver, BC. Can Canada is so beautiful. It's like it's the one country we need to go visit together. So. Oh, you've got to come to Vancouver. It's it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. Um, well, yeah. glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. And, Thank you. Uh, and then there is a little random number person. Uh, three oh nine. Uh, I don't know what your number is. Three oh nine six nine six. I don't know if you want to share your name doesn't show up, but if you want to share 30 seconds about you. Yeah, <laughs> it's me, Julie Drake, Emmanuel. Oh. Good to be here. Um, I, I'm an Inside Out member and I am a technology consultant by train, but I recently became a motion code and body code certified and I love the healing world and I'm new to the AO scan world and I'm just excited to be here to learn from you guys. Yeah, we're, we're excited to, to help out any way we can. And, you know, I would hate to be remiss if I'll just share a really quick one minute intro about myself. You're probably just like, ah, oh, I hear from Emmanuel all the time. Okay, just one quick minute about myself. And um, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but um, I didn't, I picked up the Emotion Code book about five or six different times. Um, I, I really, like, I was trying to get into it, but just something always kind of stopped me, <clears throat> heart wall. And so my friend cleared my heart wall all of a sudden, then I couldn't put my the book down, and I and I started looking at all these different webinars. And um, one of the reasons a lot of people don't know why I uh, started making videos is because um, there was this woman client that met with me and said, you know, my husband would never get into this, you know. And and how many of you guys probably know people who have said that they're like, oh, you know, I'm so into this, but my husband, I wish would be into or my boyfriend, whatever. And I remember I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm a normal guy, you know. I've got I don't have this weird, you know, toupee or strange outfit. Um, you know, like I'm not wearing a gown, you know, like, you know, king of the woo woo, you know, so I'm like, why don't I just make a video about the heart wall, the emotion code. And um, it just kind of like, I was like, whoa, now we have like 75,000 views on the heart wall. Uh, and I was like, okay, this is people are being receptive. And so then I just went on a whole out run. And now I've done over 400 videos on YouTube. And I keep telling people I'm not Dr. Brad. But I just I love the work that he does. And I want to get the word out there. And um, it's just been a beautiful thing after about five months, I was able to go full time. And after 12 months, um, our practice was just, you know, one of the top practices in the world and, and started meeting with almost 80 to 100 clients a week. I know some of you guys probably just fainted hearing that. But when you love what you do, you know, it's just like, really, time doesn't really exist. And that's kind of how I felt. And I almost I had like a duty to go out there and help as many people as I can. So that's a little introduction about me. You guys obviously want to know more about my beautiful wife, Jessica, which I'm so happy. I'm not going to get emotional that she's here with me next to me, but uh, if maybe you can kind of share your story. And then also a lot of people don't know about the AO scan too. So maybe like how body, how you went from body co practitioner and kind of that cool story of like how the AO scan was introduced. So to you. Okay. So hi, I'm Jessica. Um, Emmanuel's wife, obviously. Um, so he's the one that introduced me into emotion code and it completely changed my life. Um, cleared my heart wall pretty quickly within like a month or so. Um, I had a lot of like trigger CP CPTSD symptoms and things like that, that went down severely. Still had, you know, some episodes of triggers and things throughout the way, but it helped a ton when the heart wall went down. And then um, I got certified pretty quickly after that, like maybe, I can't remember, maybe like four months after my heart wall was cleared, I got certified in the emotion code and then did that for a while. And then we just decided one day that I was gonna do the body code. So within a month, I just got certified in the body code, which was crazy. It took me a lot longer to do the emotion code than I did the body code for whatever reason. but. Um, I've been doing that, certifying both of them over a year now. So um, it's been awesome. But I, I was telling him all along the way, I love emotion code. I love body code. It, they're actually, I know for sure they were both completely inspired by Dr. Brad to create them. Um, sorry, I'm too emotional, but um, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, but we would kind of joke because I was like, there's still something out there. So like, I just knew there was still something that like was missing a little bit. Sorry, this makes me even more emotional. 
um, because we went and met, sorry, wow, um, the creator, makes me so emotional whenever I talk about it, of the AO scan. Um, and he is also a completely inspired man. Um, you enjoyed it too, right? Yeah, I mean, it, I, mean I, w I, I went to go meet corporate and the staff there and, and it was very inspiring. And I just, I love the fact that she was saying, she's like, there's something else out there that I should be looking into. And we didn't know what it was, honestly, we just, you know, and I was like, okay, babe, like, you know, whatever, you know, keep your heart open. My, the last thing I would tell my wife is like, not to follow your heart or your mission. That'd be kind of weird. I tell clients that all the time, but no, not my wife. So, um, so we waited and all of a sudden AO scan just kind of fell in our lap. Right. And then um, I was just like, that's the thing you were waiting for. Like, it was, it was kind of crazy. Like she kind of felt it coming her way. And um, I think you met with like almost like 60 clients, like the first two months or something like that? Or was it, or first, my, like the first month. Yeah. The first month. Okay. Yeah. Actually the first month, you know, 60 clients that were kind of like interested in AOScan. But again, we're, we're here to, you know, provide value to you that those of you who are like, what is AOScan or give me some tips on it, but also emotion code, body code. Like this is gonna be kind of a double feature here. Double yeah. feature. Is yeah. That yeah. 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 So okay. yeah, the combination of both of them is just absolutely beautiful. Our clients are seeing quicker, easier results. It's making our job a lot faster. I keep telling people AOScan is body code on steroids. There's stuff in there that is not even in the body code, but when you use them together, it's just, it's amazing. So yeah, that's me. <laughs> it, it works congruently. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, so let's get started here because I really want to help you guys out. So if you guys know how to raise your hand on zoom, then just go ahead and raise your hand. And then my wife will pick um, you know, my wife and I will either, you know, pick someone at random and then, um, or if you just want to type your question too, we can like get to it there as well. So, yeah. Yeah. So either or. Science ready to go. Oh, her hand <laughs> is up. I had to work out how to do that. <laughs> I never, I'm a teams girl. <laughs> yeah. So go ahead. Um, so what is it that I need to say? <laughs> yeah. If oh, you, did you have, if you did, if you had a question? Oh, okay. Um, no, I didn't have a question at this point. Let me think about it a bit more no worries. Um, and okay. I'll okay. raise my hand again. Sorry. No worries. no worries. Congratulations on raising your hand. At least we can figure <laughs> it out, you know? So, um, that in itself is like, you know, um, uh, a, a, a cool, uh, defeat there. So with, with, um, Holly, I know Holly's got her hand up there. Hey, um, so my, my question is kind of a technological logical question for you, Jess, um, technology wise on your advice. Um, sometimes and this is the, when this scans or does optimization, it almost like does an error and won't complete. So how do you, is it bad? Like if I went back and scanned again or recent the optimizations like how if you double tag something because of an error like how does that affect you or how is there a time that you recommend waiting or your advice please because that's my biggest struggle with it but before you answer that too for those of you who are like you know, like, you know what so so may, maybe like give some context to what she's saying if the AO scan does this okay then, yeah so Hold up sure. Sorry, I went really big, deep. No, no, no. This is, this is, this I don't know great. how long I can attend. So, okay, thanks. Great question. So, this is hold up, just tie here. This is the actual device here. So, there's lots of different things that it can do. But basically, in a nutshell, it's a biofeedback device. It's a frequency generator. Um, let me hold this real quick. An educational tool about your body, like that you're talking about the vital scans and things like that. Um, and we'll get in, we can get into that more in detail if anyone wants to know about it, but you can balance and restore your entire body, mind and spirit with it. Um, it's really, it's cool that it's a handheld device. I like that you didn't have to, there's other things out there. I don't like that you didn't have to hook yourself up to be able to receive the frequencies. You can just broadcast them through. I'm like speaking really fast. It's great. No, you're, 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 doing, you're doing awesome. I'm like, uh, I'm like I gotta learn. Um, um, you can broadcast them through the quantum field through scalar waves is how it kind of works. So um, super, super interesting stuff. Um, but basically you can scan, optimize, and harmonize your entire body with it. So 
back to your question, the vital scan here. So vital scan, this one is the one that's kind of similar for any of you that don't know, it's similar to getting $30,000 of blood work done. So it's really, really interesting. You can check for your, um, you can check for your like CBC levels, you can check for your vitamins, minerals, mold, bacteria, parasites, um, things like that. And then in uh, hormones too. And then you optimize the ones that are, so first it's, sorry, let's back up. It takes three minutes to do the entire scan. The first minute you are, you are scanning to see if there's anything that was out of range or out of balance. Second minute, it's going to optimize you back into, it's going to try to, sometimes there's a huge blocked, like trapped emotion blocking it that we need to remove first. Um, most of them will get optimized back to where they need to go. So it's going to hopefully optimize you perfectly back into the green area. Third minute, it's rescanning you to see if it corrected that or if it's still like unhappy or imbalanced basically. So um, back to your question though. So yeah, that has happened to me how, how long ago did you do, how long you, when did you get yours, by the way? Um, gosh, two, three months ago. Okay. Um, have you ever re-downloaded it? Yes. I'm really good at cleaning out the cache and doing the update, turning the phone off, turning back on. And I'm connected to 5G. And I, I don't, it's almost so sensitive to out to noises or something is kind of what I picking up on and even doing like a distant a reading. Like if I talk on accident or make a loud noise, it that's almost what glitches it. Okay. Is that, so, so I have heard a couple people have a similar issue. If you're really good at doing all those things that you already said, I recommend just call customer service, just say, Hey, and it takes like maybe 10 minutes Just say, Hey, um, I've, and tell them I'm really good at, clearing the cache, all that kind of stuff. I'm still having a glitch occasionally while performing the scan. They're going to have you delete the app and they'll help you re download it. I had a couple issues, few issues, like the first couple of weeks. And then since I've done that, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Okay, cool. Um, Thank you. Yes. And then once you, but until you do that, um, it's, it's okay to, so say that happens before you call tomorrow afternoon or whatever, just um, exit out of the whole program, like close it out, reopen it, and then you should be able to rescan them. Just make sure you're connected to really good Wi-Fi. That's, I've noticed sometimes people have issues with that. If it's, it's always good, a good backup in case um, there is those glitches. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> that answer your question? Yeah, I just, I just don't want to double send anything and do harm on anybody on accident. You know? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. Cause then you don't, you don't want them to, them to take a picture of themselves floating because they're getting too many frequencies. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I totally agree. And you know, what's also interesting. Some of you guys who are body code practitioners only uh, we've had so much verification of like, uh, I'll just use one of your exam um, examples for your, um, your fallopian tubes. I think were brought up in the, in, in the AO scan and it was red and she tried to optimize it and it stayed red. And that's where I came in with my little body code detective head. And I was like, well, what imbalances are there? And I used the body code. I did like a really quick session on her and then she rescanned it and it went green. So it, it like, it almost proves the fact that the body code works. And um, even one of our, um, her sponsors, um, Stephanie, she said that she had like a heart artery that was a little bit off or whatever. She just, I think released one or two trapped emotions or a heart wall or something like that. And it went green afterwards. So again, it's kind of cool that like the body, like sometimes it, it, we wish and cross our fingers that the AO scan does all the work for you. No muscle test needed. It just fixes it. Um, but just in case it doesn't, it's just like a body code practitioner should go in there, do a really quick session. And then all of a sudden um, that person is doing well. And, and that's the block that needs to be removed. So kind of cool. I, I kind of like that. So I, I think Brad, Bradley Nelson would be really impressed. It was like, whoa, this actually solidifies the, this work, you know? So I see some people, um, a, um, asking some questions here. If you, I don't know if you want to choose one. Yeah. Let's go to Melissa's real quick. So, um, AO scanner work in Canada. Yeah, absolutely. It does work in Canada. It actually, as long as 
Is it DHL? Is that the right? Uh, I say it right. DHL. DHL. Yeah. The delivery. Yeah. As long as DHL comes to you, then yeah, you yeah. should be able to receive it just fine. So at most countries, I think almost all countries can receive it. I think I heard two that couldn't, and I can't remember which one. Sorry, I don't know how to use the raise the hand. It's oh, you're okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I was trying to do one with Tiara the other day, and I know that she's in the U.S. She wasn't able to call me um, using the AO scanner. Is it because you have to be in the same state for that? No. Um, I, I scan, I scan people all the time. And actually Stepinka is in Canada, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm yeah, in, um, actually, yeah. So I did her scan. I'll do, I can do it for you if you want. I know how to do it. So I don't know. I don't know why she wasn't able to. But she yeah. just called from the phone and you can just call directly from the phone. What we did is we just went through um, a different phone and then she kind of put it really close to the AO scanner and told me to talk into it. I don't know if that changes anything or if that works just as well. Um, yeah, that kind of does change it. So yeah, I can, if you want, if you want to do a different one sometime, I'm totally happy to. Okay. No, absolutely. Just wanted to see, cause I was thinking of maybe wanting to purchase one and see how, how that. Yeah. And I can, I can help explain how to do it. Since you're in Canada, you'll probably do people from all over the different country. You'll see right. stuff like that. So I can help show you how to perform those scans and those type of things. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. And we might exchange between, um, uh, AO scan and body code questions because I'm, I'm feeling left out here. And, uh, uh, but if you want to treat someone, that, someone maybe, maybe, maybe well. so maybe we'll just kind of bounce back and forth. Body yeah. code is, and yeah. I, and we may do it. We may do a healing too on the spot too. So you don't know who, what what special person might get a healing on the spot for me. But um, but go ahead and uh, I'm here. so why does the heart wall come back? All right. Well, the heart wall comes back as I have my crown chakra crystal here to give me confidence. Um, but um, what I was going to tell you was the uh, sometimes what happens is um, the same reason why you got a heart wall in the first place is, uh, again, it could be emotional trauma. It could be someone was being too mean to you. Um, I cleared my heart wall, supposedly. It's interesting because like uh, my friend cleared my heart wall, but I think he only cleared some of it. This is really interesting because he cleared it in one day. And when, when we, I just was kind of like fishy about it. I was like, I don't know. And, um, but whatever he did though, it did help me move forward, but I don't think I officially cleared my heart wall. But what's interesting is that at some point I did clear my heart wall completely. And then um, kind of like a friend of a friend uh, passed away. Uh, it was really crazy. Like he got really sick in a mall. He turned like green and he just collapsed. And then he, uh, three days later he passed away. It was, it was insane. And I remember, um, <clears throat> I was trying to work on him because all his organs were failing and I was visiting at the hospital and his family was thinking what I was doing was like witchcraft and stuff, you know? And I was like, I was like, I'll do it for free. It's not witchcraft. I'm a Christian even. And they, and, and they just kind of kept pushing me away. And uh, I created three heart walls that week. Um, and I, and I, so you can see how that could really hurt me. And my heart was, you know, I was feeling heartache for someone that passed away and that I got so much, I got rejected. They didn't know what they were really rejecting in the, in the first place. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so heart walls will come back because it's the exact reason why you created them in the first place. And you want your heart wall to come back because if you don't have your heart wall come back, then supposedly the next step would be broken heart syndrome, which means your heart, your, um, you know, the tendons inside your heart stretch so much that it collapses and you can pass away from that. So technically the heart wall is a lifesaver technically, you know, so you want the heart wall to come back and you can always just check once a week. Like, did I make a heart wall? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. So maybe like once a week, just kind of do a heart wall check on yourself or maybe once a month check on yourself. And like, maybe you can put it in your calendar. Like I'm just going to check if I have any heart walls, sometimes two or three show up. Okay. There's no more. All right, move on. You know? So, um, and then there is something that I could kind of talk about just real quick in one second is um, there is something called like a, a propensity thing that I learned from one practitioner once. And she said that some of us have a higher propensity to create a heart wall than others. So you can, you can make a statement if you write this down and say, um, you know, uh, what is my propensity to creating a heart wall? If it's like six, 76%, 80%, the goal then is to remove imbalances that incline your body to think like, this is huge danger. It's going to hurt your heart. 
lower that down all to 0%. That way you have less inclination to make a hard wall. That's why you'll, you'll meet two different types of people. Someone's been through a harder life and then this person, but then this person has less hard walls. You're like, that doesn't make any sense. That person had a harder life, but it's because it's how he handled it or how she handled it. Um, maybe she's like, no, this isn't a hard wall thing. I will create a trapped emotion, but I won't produce a hard wall. So depending on how sensitive you are and how empathic you are, there's other, and maybe if you like to take people's suffering on, you may have a higher propensity to create a hard wall. So I answered your question. So uh, let's go to the next person. If you can try to mute. Sorry, your just quickly, Emmanuel. Yeah, um, no. Do you just ask about the, the percentage of what your propensity is? Yeah, is that it's, it's that simple. Yeah what's, yeah, what's the propensity of me recreating a hard wall? And then it should mm -hmm. give you a number and then just try to lower it down to zero. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and like I said, uh, what, the more you lower it down to zero, then the less propensity to make one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So next question, let's do an AO scan question real quick. And uh, let's see what the... Uh, Oh, wow. Sorry, yeah, so Haley's got hey, a manual. Oh, yeah. Go oh, ahead. I'm sorry. Hey, go, I, go I don't have a way to raise my hand. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I do have an AO scan question. Um, and I posed this to Jessica earlier. My question is this, you know, coming from a body code world, you know, we send the healing intention out on um, the AO scan, if I can't physically be by somebody, and they don't necessarily have a phone, like a child, for instance, um, or maybe I'm doing a virtual session, an email session, and they say, hey, can you do an AO scan? Is the healing the same if I just have their picture up there and I'm doing the optimizing frequencies or the scan? Is that possible? Or um, talk to me about that. Does that make sense, my yeah, question? That's a great question. So like you're saying, if they're in okay. person, if they are in person, even if it is a child, put the bone conducting headset on them. Um, that it. It, but if they're in person, this is the easiest way to do it. Um, if they're not in person, then you can, when you, you would need to still create a profile for them. If you're wanting to do a vital scan or so that's like the $30,000 blood work scan or without taking blood out of your body um, or a comprehensive scan, which is similar to getting an x-ray done then you you do want to do the scan long distance so what you do is you need to call from the actual device and then you call the cell phone or the mom's cell phone or whatever even if the kid is sleeping it's fine he doesn't need to be awake for it she just needs to hold okay so he's going to call me on that device okay so he's calling me i'm the child Hello. no you're Hello. calling me oh. <laughs> You're scanning me. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> so have them, they need to hold it right in front of their ear, right there, just like this, for on that bone right here. This bone right in front of your ear, it's kind of at the top of the jawbone. You need to hold it there the whole time you're performing the scan. So it has to call from the device to a cell phone. It doesn't work if it's a laptop or iPad, you can't hold the iPad up. It needs to be through cellular waves. But since you're calling through the from the device, it actually neutralizes the EMF waves and the cellular waves, so it's safe. So it still it actually makes it completely safe to do that. So yes, um, but to send the frequencies, that you actually you don't need. They don't even need to know what's coming to them, um, the kid, the child, whatever. So if it's if that makes sense. So optimizing frequencies on the scans. Yes, you want, you need to hold it up here on them or this on here for them to receive the optimizing. But if you're just going to send the Cephi frequencies, which are the subtle energetic frequency imprinters, and there's 2,100 different ones that you can send to people. Ones that are like feel good ones, like abundance, energy, focus, things like that or they're ones for like specific pain or like illnesses that you're having. So um, like digestive issues, system issues, IBS. Um, if a child is struggling with bedwetting, there's specific frequencies to help with those that you can send them. Um, just make sure 
that I think they even have one that's like vaccine um toxicity vaccine detox, tox, detox yeah. from the vaccine which is like you know we all know we're all freaked out by like uh, people shedding you know something like that but yeah help so let's just say a child has um abdominal pain you just want to make sure that person whoever is in, in here in this profile and then you click continuous frequency for it to go to that person so it's coming from the quantum field through scalar waves. I know it sounds really interesting. But, um, that's how it's getting to that person is that way. And then run it for 15 to 20 minutes per person to get like the best results. If you accidentally leave it on there for let's say an hour or two, sometimes I fall asleep with mine playing, your body will just absorb what it needs and then it just kind of tunes out the rest of the frequencies. So you can't oversend yourself actually frequencies we found out. Did that answer your question? <sighs> did we I think so. Is is that what you did with I think you did an informational video early on and said something about your son and um, there was an issue he was having and you ran the a scan and he you noticed an improvement. I was it was that the Steffi that you did? So I was just curious. There was there's probably a couple different ones I posted about. It was either the colic one. So um, the colic one, we to do to run the vital scans, comprehensive scans. Again, you want to put we put this on him, and it's completely safe. We weren't ever like worried. We muscle tested it to make sure like it's safe, and we felt completely fine about it. So put this on if they're in person to do the scans, and then to send the Cephi frequencies. I just had him pulled up in my profile and then through the quantum field and scalar waves is how it got to him. I didn't have to hook this on him for him to get the colic or like one struggles with focusing, um, reading the, the accelerated learning one frequency has helped one of our sons jump huge in his reading three oh, yeah. grades, three grades comprehension within like <clears throat> two months. So that's was, crazy. It was really cool. We're like, say what? And how often did you run it for that? I think I only ran that one three or four times total. So just when I decided, just whenever I was kind of noticing he was starting to struggle again, I just resent it again three or four times. And that's his results got. Wow. Really good results that one. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That's exactly what I was wondering. Thanks so much. Great, great question. Great question. Um, cool. Are you guys enjoying this? Put a, could you put a thumbs up or I don't know, like put or comment one or a happy face down there. If you're getting some good value from this and someone, oh, someone did a thumbs up. Good job. Stephane. Oh, there's a little fiesta one from Nancy. Good job. Everyone's doing a thumbs up. I'm, I'm watching the ones that are not saying thumbs up. Like I'm going to, I'm going to find you. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just joking. No, but um, yes, yeah, so we're just trying to have fun here, right? Like if you're not having fun doing this, helping people out, you're not in the right uh niche in my opinion you know so her and i if we make jokes together it's because we just we love doing this and even at lunchtime when we're just like we're only going to talk about relationship stuff you know like you know we're gonna, you know but sometimes it just comes out of me and she's like no you gotta hear about this ao scan that you know and it's just because we just love what we do we love helping people you know but i'm like oh we just broke the we broke the rule so um okay cool so let's go to a body code question if anybody wants to raise their hand or if we were and we're gonna look at questions too is it Haley? Yeah. Okay. When you go into a body code session, do you need to go into all, go into it knowing? What you, what, what you want healed or will your body let the practitioner know what you need healed the most? So cool. So that's a great question. So when I meet with people and I, I, I usually like to ask them what's their three most annoying symptoms. Okay. So here's a cool tip is that my, I'm the biggest fan of not being the last chooser of what symptom to work on. I usually like to let them know like, hey, you have a higher, I, I told them up front, I don't care. In the, in the beginning, I just say, hey, there's a higher self inside of you, which is your body pretending like you have nothing on you, like no imbalances in you. Like all the dark stuff is gone. It's just this light, the light, the most lit version of yourself that will actually knows the best way, best route for you to heal. So you need to let me know what are your top three or four symptoms. Now, when I work with them, I typically throw the heart wall in there. And typically I throw the higher self healing. The reason why I kind of throw those two in there is because you'll be very surprised how the heart wall can actually fix many areas. Like so you'll be surprised 
people who have immune system deficiency and immune, immune problems um, is because their heart sending mixed messages to their organs and glands. So it, it boosts your immune system, increases your energy just by removing the heart wall, right? So, um, so I put the heart wall in there. Um, plus if they're going like, oh yeah, I have depression, I have anxiety, my relationships are eh, my abundance is eh. See, that's all heart wall too. Like heart wall can really help out with that. So I put the heart wall in there, but I also put higher self healing. This is what I learned from my mentor because you never know like what, what we're not talking about that for some reason, just the higher self would like to put a, um, like release something that it needs right now. Uh, like there's something going on that we're not even talking about. Sort of that saying where it says what you don't know, you don't know. Uh, can hurt you. So I put the higher self healing just to be like, you know, uh, your body actually chose higher self healing. Maybe it wants to remove one or two things before we dive into your symptoms, which will give you more peace of mind, body, and spirit. But then afterwards, I let the body choose. And I keep working on that one symptom until all of a sudden it says, uh, is there anything else we can release here? I go, okay, well, it seems like your body wants to go somewhere else. Let's see where it goes. And then I'll, and then I'll go back to the list again. Does that make sense? Uh, that was a, that was an answer for Haley. So Haley, hopefully does that, does that answer your question? Yeah, that does. Thank you. Yeah. yeah you're so welcome. All right. So let's go with, uh, either you can raise your hand up, which is a yellow hand, like a Bart Simpson a hand. Or... Here, sorry. Um, you read, um, Stepanka. Stepanka. Okay. So I find that I get different results when I do the scan on myself. So I'm not really sure where I should be placing my focus. If I were to do it with my clients, how many scans, and how often are you doing the scans with your clients to identify where the problems lie? Good question. That's a good question. Okay, so I like to, so if we're talking about the clients, um, I like to, I first do a, a first scan with them. And then um, I try and, <coughs> sorry, I try and see if they will do, because to honestly, it. I found out it takes the device three or four scans for it to fully know your body. So if they're okay, if they're committed to it, they need to do, try and do those three scans first for it to really get to know your body. Um, after those three scans, if you're still red and red, like with like the fallopian tubes that we talked about earlier, um, or say there's like um, a deficiency in some vitamins, if I'm deficient in some areas, then I, that, then that's where I, then we go to the body code or motion code. Then at that point, um, if someone sees it and they really want, they already know, like, yeah, I know I've been tested for this. Cause I see people all the time this week. I just saw one today who she had the, she had a, like a blood, actual blood scan done blood out of her body. <laughs> and, um, she got the results back just yesterday. And she was like freaking out because she was like, so after her first scan, it was already really, really accurate to the same thing that she just got. I've had that several times. So they say just to be safe, try and do three scans just to double confirm them. But um, sometimes the people are already like, yep, 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 yep. I already know this and that. So then you can actually, if they're agreeing that they already have been verified by a couple people, cool. Then just go right in and that's what they want to work on, like a hormonal balance issue you'll see on there, it pulls up like different hormones or like the digestive system. There's so many different parts of the digestive system. So like um, sometimes like if a client, you're working on a client, it's hard to really know which part of it is. This scan within, if you do the comprehensive scan, you'll know within five seconds, the exact part of it. So if it's the spleen, you'll know the exact part of the spleen, the exact part of whatever it is that, um, you want to address. So if someone's had IBS, digestive issues their whole life, go straight to the digestive function part on the comprehensive scan. And then with literally within three to five seconds, you'll know the exact part of it. So does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was great. I was actually, and I was wondering, do any of your clients freak out just because there's so many things in there? Um, there I'm very like, I'm nervous to send the, the printout to some of them because it's like, then you see all these red and they're like, oh my God, I never thought about this or this. And have you ever, have you ever like had that where people just get really upset and spiral? Yes, but it's really important just to kind of keep it like to help calm them down and just say, this is just an educational tool to know more about your body. We want to make sure that we aren't 
um, they know that we're not like uh, trying to diagnose them of like, cause there's, there's one, if you notice the stroke level one, that one always like kind of worried me when it would pop up. Yeah. But, um, that one, just watch it after a few scans and it should, it should go back to green, especially after if you're sending those three times, it should go to green after that third one. Like okay. And, and for you personally, how often are you doing like the, the vital and the comprehensive? Do you do it like all the time? I, so vitals and comprehensive, I do one, once to twice a week. I'll do on myself. Okay. Yeah. Inner voice. I do that one daily. I do the quick scan daily. Um, Zephy's way too many times a day. <laughs> so right. and, and for, the, for those who are brand new, um, you know, what are vitals? Like just, just, you know, just in case like okay. there's someone who's new here is like, what? Going the on. vital scan that's the one it's a, it's similar to getting thirty thousand dollars of blood work done so we can go in there and check your cbc levels bacteria mold viruses um hormone levels your vitamins to see how they are hormone i think the hormones already yeah um but is, is that you only do that once a month or how, how frequently can you do that one? oh uh daily oh, you good. could do that one daily if you want to um and i did for the first for the first couple, two to three weeks, I tried doing mine daily, but then you get to a point that you're like, okay, like I'm, I'm looking pretty good in the green area. Um, and then, and also I'm to the point now, honestly, I don't even look at my report. I, I just trust, I've had so much results and success with it. I actually don't even, I don't know if that's good or bad to say, but I don't even look at my report. I'm seeing the results I need to, I'm trusting that this device is doing what it needs to do for my body that I don't need to, and we did, those ones that I first noticed were red and red, they're not anymore. So I'm like, okay, just do it as needed. Trust that it's working. Um, so with your client, just let them know. Um, so on that report, when you see something in like, say their digestive system is, say the spleen is like nine and nine. I would just say, okay, let's just jot this one down. Let's make a note of this. So let's just make a note of it for today. It doesn't mean your spleen is to come out today. It just means that there's probably going to be a huge trapped emotion, compound energy. As we know, compound energies can be the size of a cantaloupe. So if there's a huge cantaloupe in front of your spleen, yeah, these frequencies aren't going to, I shouldn't have done that, but your frequencies, <laughs> <laughs> the frequencies yeah. aren't going to be able to get into it. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, and then you're, you're going to, um, and so I guess, um, what, what she's asking, or I'm wondering if when you, the comprehensive one, that's like the, all the stuff you, I think you recommend it what, once a month. Yes. Um, it's okay if I show something real fast. Yeah. If you do, well, I'm just going to explain. I'm just going to show it real fast. Okay. Here, hopefully you can see that the first one is inner, inner voice. So if you've done an inner voice of vitals that day, which I have, I'm able to do a complete scan. When I click complete scan, it's gonna pull up just the most important ones that my body needs. So you can either pick and choose the ones that you wanna check for. I don't know if there's yeah, any glare on there, but yeah. um, it's pulling up my ones that need attention. It's like, according to your voice scan, which the inner voice is, the software is similar to um, a lie detector test. So it's pretty dang accurate. Um, it's pulling up my like most important ones that it wants to do. This one you could do, um, you could do this one, the, this full complete one once a week. If you wanna check three specific areas of your body, three to four areas, say I wanna check, um, my vertebrae, my teeth, and my respiratory system. I can choose three areas every single day. It's completely safe to optimize your body and rescan like that. If you want to do, now here's the completely different one. So custom scan is going to check every dang box here. And um, I need to double check how many, I'm just going to double check that I'm seeing it right. It scans. You'll see. Oh, this one? Nope, the one above it. Maybe I didn't write it down. It's it's checking for, I don't know the exact number, but I think it's, this one I think is thousands of different parts of your body, specific ones. 
Um, I'll get the number, the real number in a second, but um, you want to do this one only once a month. If you're going to do your entire, entire body, every single nerve, every single ligament, every single kid, um, organ, gland. It's a, it's, a, it's a list you probably have to scroll for like, they, like hours yeah. or whatever. So if don't you want only to do, do that once a month. Your entire body, only do that once a month. That's, you don't want to do it one once a month. Yeah. And it takes like 16 minutes. Yeah. So that one's kind of a long one. But yeah. Does that answer your question? <laughs> Yeah, wonderful. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. So uh, I'll, I'll answer Sarah's here, but actually, I think this might have to do with you again. Sorry, babe. <laughs> okay. Um, so it says, um, so it says, thanks for this session. Can essential oils be installed energetically? Oh, this is such a good question. Really good question. Yeah. Um, okay. And you can, you're the only one that can answer this. So I sometimes find multiple instances of the same trapped emotion coming up at the same time. For example, oh, so this is a, so this is just, you went to a, double. Yeah, okay. you, went, you can go first, babe. We'll let you start. Sarah, first. Sarah, that was very uh, sneaky of you. You put a body code and an AO scan question in one. For example, fifty anxieties. In your experience, is this legitimate? And can we release all fifty at the same time? Okay, so in my personal experience, for seven years, I like if I find like an, uh, an anxiety reverberation, I don't typically go like, how many of these are there in there? I'm gonna go, okay, there's like 43 or 47. Um, let me just release one, release two, release three. I, I, I don't really do that. Um, I just, honestly, if you want the best results is you just find that in, uh, whatever you find, just always ask, is there an associated imbalance below it, which is the typical question you ask, and then just release it. But from even the best professionals that have worked on me and I've seen really great results, you just want to ask, like, is there something below it? And that's it. Um, to, 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 that's almost close to when you ask how many anxieties are in there. You can, it's almost like saying, um, how many heart walls are in this person, you know? And there's people that have supposedly have found, I have found 78 heart walls in here. So this will take us one, two, three, like, like that's just too much. Like even Dr. Brad says, you can't really find that number. And I'll tell you why you can't find it uh, is because sometimes there's the heart wall, right? then there's the hidden heart wall, but then there's heart walls that your body's just not ready to be found yet. You'll notice this, like, like six years later, I'll find one that's like, I'm age four years old of like heartache. And I'll be like, oh, I thought, huh. it's like, why is this childhood one showing up now? And from my mentors, what they said is that your body is finally ready to release one. Uh, as you go deeper in your healing, there'll be random heart walls that will show up that you couldn't find them and they weren't hidden. It's just that your body's ready to like finally bring it to the surface and allow you to release it. So again, I don't do, I don't check how many multiples of things there are. I just don't find that too accurate. And it doesn't, um, like I said, you're not gonna get like better results of like, let's get rid of 60. It's more of just finding that one and then just saying, is there something below it? And then moving on to something else. And then just, you know, just keep asking that question. So hopefully that answers that question. And um, also with, uh, the essential oils to be installed energetically. This is super cool. This is super cool. Yeah. So I put, I only put a few on here so far, but you'll see I have, I've stored them. You create a playlist or not playlist, sorry, a supplement list of them. And you can store your supplements. You can store your essential oils on here. Um, I'm going to show you just quickly. What's that one right here? Okay, so we do have a doTERRA 11. Okay, cool. I haven't put that one on here yet, so that's perfect. Sweet. So I'm just going to show you. Um, if you go to your supplement library, go to your essential oils, and then hit the plus button, my library. So then you just type in, you just go get to the screen here, type in the lemon. So I guess this is your, you basically telling them what you're, what you have, right? So yeah. You're just titling it so that you know, but then it's going to copy the exact frequency energy that was made to create this, this guy. guy right here. Um, you just put the dose in here. So she's putting in the dose size, which is uh, one. And then it's asking like one, what? You can choose one milliliter, one 
scoop, one, scoop, one bottle. bottle, whatever. I don't, I'm just kind of guessing the milliliters that are in there. Go to scan. Oh, actually, we need to wait a second and put it on top. You would put it, let's oh, do it again. Yeah. We start on top. Okay. I don't even know if they can see this. Just click the scan button. Okay. <laughs> we'll see if we can multitask here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We've never done this before, so just click yeah. scan. And it's gonna copy the exact is it in the middle? Yes, yeah, in the middle, yeah. <laughs> it's copying the exact frequency that was in this. So you can do it to all of your supplements, store it in here, save it that way, and then um, on the category, just make sure you put it in the essential oils or if it's a supplement or vitamin, whatever, whatever you want to, you decide you want yours to be. And then when you do your quick scan in the morning, it just takes 10 seconds of your audio you, or you're talking. So you just talk for 10 seconds and then it's going to pick the top four to six most important ones your body needs. So it will check what supplement, cause we we all tend to like take too much stuff that we probably don't even need that day. So put in your vitamins. You can even put in one by one. You can put iron, you can put in your, your bees separately. So, you know, if, if you really need to take like all of them or which one you need to take, but detect, it detects just off your voice, the exact, the six most important ones that your body needs that day. So I check to see which um essential oil which supplement i need just by it just scanning my voice so i talk for the 10 seconds and then it pulls up which, which ones i need so okay I, I think you're way too casual about what you just said right now <laughs> how many of you guys put put a little um uh, a one down there if that's kind of impressive that you can you can basically <laughs> program your your oils in this machine you do a 15 second um voice thing where it's testing out i don't know how many frequencies in your voice and then it's telling you which oils you need due to your emotional state at that moment. I mean, I don't know about y'all, yeah, but it's pretty cool. that's for me, I was just like, that's cool. <laughs> and, 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 and for me, for example, I also like to think about um, my mother who was an oncologist and she was also, um, you know, a holistic doctor in her own right. But she, um, she was always about that W word, which is like wellness, you know, and if we really care about our clients and we're body code emotional practitioners, what can they do on a more frequent basis without processing? And I, and AO scan fits it like, like a perfect nail. It's like, they can do that. They can check their voice in the morning time, right? In the morning time, they can check their voice, do a voice frequency thing, tells you what oils you need, what meditation you need to listen to a specific binaural beat to kind of like put you back in homeostasis. And then at nighttime, right before they go to bed, which I've heard some clients say that, um, that her husband does it right before he goes to bed and he sleeps way better is to test you know, his 15 seconds there and speak there. And it says, these are the meditations he needs to hear before he goes to bed and he has way better sleep. So it's really what you're doing for your clients is you're giving them a better way to kind of take care of themselves and, um, and to kind of like keep their emotional state at, uh, always um, at even keel instead of, you know how it is. It's like, you do a great session with someone, two days later, you're processing. And then there's like three days where you're like naked to the world and you don't know what's gonna happen. Here you're kind of you keep restabilizing uh, re yourself and kind of uh, centering yourself uh, using the um, that uh, voice scan. So yes, yes. Can I add a really cool note real quick to that? Sure. Yeah. So it goes beyond the essential oils. I think as Jess knows, but I mean, I add, I add like my crystal bowl sound therapy to there. Um, I do like my rain shakers, anything sound. I do color therapy. I add that in there too, different colors. Um, I mean, anything that makes you feel better calling a friend. I know that sounds really silly, but it's something that improves you. And I, I mean, my, my supplement list is just crazy. The categories on it, but <laughs> awesome. I've done morning scans and it's like, okay, you need to do your Tibetan sound bowl. And I did, and it helped you know that that was one of the things that came up so great limit it's limitless yeah i like that I word that. i like that word limitless. um richard had a great question okay where's richard um at? he i saw on there he wants to get one yes you need one you really really do um so nothing against healy we debated about both for a while um actually we deb debated about healy for quite a while second yeah. i saw ale scan we're like Here's my card, you know. So uh, they're both great for different things, but 
Yes, I agree. I feel like this one for us, it does a lot more. Um, I will send you, I'll send you a link right after this. And what I, another thing I liked about it is it does a lot more than just the Healy does, but it's also a sixth of the cost. So I thought that was like amazing too. So. Yeah, so it's probably more easy to expand and tell your clients about it. And then your clients might buy it for themselves. So if you have a lot of clients, <clears throat> it's not gonna cost them an arm and a leg to get an AO scan, number one. Number two, I'm always fascinated about, I don't know, put a happy face down there if you're maybe you're part of the Solex community and you've been on these conference calls where I guess it was at one point, once a week, they were doing cool updates. I don't know if you guys like realize that it's kind of cool. It's not every day where you have a technology device where the founder is like, hey, happy Monday. Um, we've added this. Now you have timed playlists where we can, you know, if you're sending stuff to you, we'll send it. You can, you can basically create a playlist almost like a Spotify and we'll put this for two minutes, this for one minute, this for two minutes. And now it'll just keep playing back to back instead of like having to manually choose everything for a certain time. Now they made it so it's like automated and made it easier for you. And so they're always coming out with new technology. Uh, and I kind of like that. I kind of like the fact that it's just like, it's, oh, it's ever expanding uh, what they can do with it. Um, Okay, so let's uh, let's go to the next question here. Who do you wanna, there's uh, someone's hands is up. And they're just like, I think it's Sarah. I think, Sarah, did you have a question real quick? I think she, she already, she said it. Oh, sure, oh, okay, cool. Pretty sure. Okay. okay, I do have a question actually, if you can hear me. Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay, so thank you for the two, two answers you gave me. Both, Emmanuel, your answer really makes sense and yours as well. Um, I forgot your wife's name, sorry. Jessica. Jessica, thank you so much. Um, the other question I have is about essential oils and can we do it without the AO? So can, can the practitioner install the energy in yeah. the person? Yeah, so basically, you know, my favorite story, some of you guys maybe have heard it before, uh, but it was, uh, and this is a great story because you, you need to know this. Um, I really believe Dr. Brad has the, the fact that he found this out. He said that he kind of like, he's so funny. He mentions little comments and he'd be like, anyways, and like, you have to like listen to those little comments before he kind of switches gears because he kind of doesn't want to go too deep in this stuff. But um, I always listen to those little things and I was like, wait, why did he say that? Like, what does he mean? Okay. So he said in the future, times might get so hard. Uh, we might not have access to pharmacies and supplement stores. But like all of us here who are on this call, we can actually energetically send nutrients to someone. Like, you know, like let's say we're going through food deprivation or nutrient deprivation and like, you know, the world's kind of falling apart. Technically we can send nutrients to people. That's why I try to get like permanent permissions from family members to be like, hey, uh, I have permission for you for life, right? Okay, cool. Because then I can help them out. And so, but one of the cool stories is that his daughter, Natalie had a headache and, um, and she's like, it's 11 o'clock at night. I'm in, I'm in, my, I'm in my PJs. Can you, I've got this huge migraine. What's going on? And basically he says, uh, he checked it. And he says, if you need some manganese. And, uh, and he's okay. She's like, so go to the store and get some manganese. She's like, I'm, I'm in my PJs, dad. So then he was like, okay, well then why don't we, uh, I'm just going to bottle up the energy and I'm going to energetically send it to you. And she's like, okay, dad, like whatever you say. Like she was just kind of like making fun of this idea of sending it. But boom, her migraine went away within seconds. And then he's like, and so sometimes, um, so to answer your question, I just wanted to share the story. So I think it's really cool is um, you can energetically send it to someone, you know, just using the swipe, you know, just, you're just, you know, whether it's this or using the ear or your hand and you can energetically send it to them. But sometimes it's cool to ask, do you need the physical support, you know, and then just add, and if it says no, it's like, then that person just needed a shot of lavender and they're good to go. But sometimes it says, yes, I worked with a lady three days ago and there was something that I, that she needed some type of herb. And, um, I was already about to tell her like, Hey, send me an email about which herb capsules you get. And then I, then I asked a really quick question. I was like, do you need the physical support? Actually her body said, no. I was like, okay, cool. So it was just, she just needed a shot of it. And that's, and then that was all her body really needed. So you can always ask that question. Do you need physical support of this or do you not? And then the body will answer. Thank you so much. God yep. bless you both. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for this great question. Um, these are great questions, guys. Okay, so so uh, Stephanie says, do you need more devices for more people or can one device help 
like an entire household with one device? Great question. Just one. You just need one. Um, another super cool thing that I didn't talk about yet is this the third category down. I don't know if there's a, you can see the glare, but it's spaces and objects. This is one of my favorite things that you can do. So you actually just add, you need to take a photo of the home in that box right there, and then just title it our home or our cabin, our summer home, um, or you can put the address in there if you want to, but whatever you wanna say, or like the kid's school, you can actually do like your kid's school, it's getting kind of crazy to kind of, kind of out there a little bit, but, but it, it, it worked though. So whatever you kind of want to send positive good, this is only positive good things. You luckily, and no one would want to send horrible things to people, but this is, you can't <laughs> do anything bad with this. So um, you can only do positive good things. So you can clear energies. So clear all negative energies, shield your home, shield everyone inside the home that way. You can send love frequencies to everyone inside the home, forgiveness, um, gratitude. There's um, relationship enhancement that will be great for all relationships. It helps you with your kids get along better, get the, have the kids get along better, husband and wife get along better. Um, so that's one of my favorite features on here, actually. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I just, they, they, well, okay, anyway. <laughs> so, um, no, I was just going to share too, my, my, uh, my wife, she's so, this is really funny. I don't know if I can share this. this really yeah, go for it. Okay. So, um, so I have a gold ring, right? And this one, she actually put abundance in here. And I would like put it on there and, you know, zero. And I was like, okay, so this is my abundance one. And every single time, guess what she does with this one, which is my wedding ring is it has to do with relationship. And we've noticed a difference in our relationship. And she brought it up just yesterday. You were like, hey, I've been noticing this, this, this. I'm like, yeah. And um, it's because she constantly recharges this ring, this, you know, so, it, so it, imagine how much, and, and by the way, you have, we're, giving something away uh, later on today, which I think you guys will all be excited about. Um, but the point is, is this, is that imagine you're doing relationship resonance program, doing the body code, and then you can maybe um, program some things um, like a bracelet or a ring for your client and then send it to them. And it has specifically to do with relationships. Now you're doing like a compound effect, you know? And what's kind of crazy is, I'll just share this one real, real quick thing. Before we even got into AOSCAM, I was telling her, uh, from one of her friends, she called me up and said, um, I have been, I have frequencies being sent to my home. And I remember going like, come on, seriously? Like, where is this place from? Like, it's from Canada. I'm like, okay, well, Canada would do something amazing like that, but come on, like, you know? And, um, but the, the point is, is that um, it, it, it would, it would actually send it, it said, do you want to send it to your phone? Do you want to send it to your house? Do you want to send it to your ring? And I was like, what the heck is sending something to my ring or to my house? Now it wake, makes way more sense. And, and really, I mean, I want, to, I want us to all think bigger here. Like my, my goal one day is like, you know, maybe create a nonprofit or help other people, you know, like all of us like to give back to nonprofits. But imagine if we could introduce emotion code, body code work and the AO scan, and then you're gridding the, the, uh, the adoption home of all those kids who feel like their parents abandoned them or whatever, imagine that home feeling like love and they're staying there until a family of love takes them. I'm thinking big y'all. I'm thinking like, how cool would it be that um, when we are trying to contribute to uh, some type of institution of hurt people, damaged people, people who have been through a lot of trauma, Alcoholics Anonymous or whatever, we all have our, we all have our own trauma that we wish we could kind of give peace to those people who are dealing with that trauma. Imagine if we can send those type of frequencies um, to that institutional building, uh, I think that's where it's going to get. We can start changing the world. Imagine we can start sending all these frequencies to different parts of the world. I think that's the future, in my opinion. Um, so we can change the world literally one building at a time. Um, yeah. you know, so I just want to share that real quick. And uh, I'll take the microphone off real quick. <laughs> that was beautiful. Okay, back to the imprinting things. So you want to just stick your ring on top of here, you put it on here, lay it down flat, not like I'm doing it, this is weird, but I'm just showing you. And you just clear it that way. You just clear the negative energies on top of this little fireball. It clears all negative, anything that's 
as you know, anytime that you're around negative toxic people or say you get kind of into an argument or something, you're actually imprinting on people and items and things. And so in metal is one of the things that sticks on the longest. So say you get into an argument and you're still kind of feeling those energies for a few days. Guess what? They're in our jewelry that, you know, we wear. So it's good to clear these anytime that you experience any of that kind of stuff. Um, and then to imprint it, all you do is just see, this is the abundance one here. So say you want abundance, put the ring on top of it, click imprint, and then you would just stick this on top here. And then it's going to imprint that piece of jewelry. And it only takes 10 seconds to do. So yeah. Yeah. So with your partner, while he's asleep, you just like find his ring. <laughs> and you're just like, don't mind if I do. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's, it just got really creepy. Um, okay. So, um, all right. So let's go to the next question here. Uh, hey, Emmanuel, really quick. Yeah. Before you move on, how do you do that type of thing when you're working with somebody virtually? Like you, you can't have, can you do that? Is that possible or, or is that just something that you can do when you're physically with somebody? Great question. Great yes. question. You can, are you talking about um, like sending them the, like the relationship resonance energy or imprinting? Well, just like what you were talking about with the imprinting of the rings and stuff, can you do that if you're not physically with that jewelry or because I was looking at that and I wondered if that was possible. So like you physically have to have the object. In, great question. Imprinting is best only done on physical items. So jewelry, you can do it. You can put it onto bracelet, bracelet, crystals, crystal bracelets, actual crystals. You put it into, and it only enhances it. So. I had that question before of like, oh no, don't, don't erase anything on my healing crystal, crystal. <laughs> but luckily it's just anytime that you're in the crystal stores and things, you know, everyone's touching things, picking it up. It's absorbing all that, like different things from different people. So every time I ever buy one, I come home, you can either sage it. I like to clear it this way, clear my crystal, just like I showed you on that fireball thingy, clear it there for 10 seconds. And then you can imprint it. It's only going to amplify the things that it has. So say it's a uh, rose quartz, you can add more love to it. Um, or you can even add like energy and abundance. abundance to any crystal. So you're, it will never take away the healing positive frequencies. It's only the negative energies that is attached to it, that it gets rid of. But I think her question is, Oh yes. Back to that question. Yeah, Sorry. So yeah, I'm kind yeah. of like, okay. Thanks for okay, I'm keeping me bringing you back. Thank you. Um, so if you are working on a client, you just send them the broadcast, only broadcast it to people long distance. Imprinting is if, say you have um, a bracelet, that you're working on a client and you want to send them like a thank you or something, then you can send it that way. Or some people may have a, like their favorite ring that they want you to imprint. If you're in person, obviously do it in person. Otherwise they can mail it to you. You can mail it back to them. So, yeah. And, and I think what happens too, I mean, some of you guys can probably relate. Go, go put a smiley face, not yet, put a smiley face. If like you did, it got a scan and you're like, okay, I need to like have this equipment like right now. So you wouldn't, if that's the case, then you wouldn't have to uh, send anything because you have your own equipment and you could do it for yourself, you know? So I think the main thing is like, if they see the value of the AO scan, that's why like when, when, when they were on a, they were in a, in a booth recently um, over in um, Sandy, uh, part of the energy healing conference, who's in a booth there. Um, I always, uh, when I, I kind of propose an idea. I'm like, really you want to, when you do the AO scan, it's like, you want to ask them like, where do they feel blocked? It could be physical stuff. It could be relationship stuff or whatever. And as long as you kind of like talk about the compartment of the AO scan to them, like it's speaking their language. Does that make sense? Cause if you think about it, the AO scan is such a, a cute, it's almost like a circus. Like, you know, it's like, there's so many things there, but it could be kind of overbearing for people like, whoa, like what doesn't the AO scan do, you know? And so, and so then they might not, it's almost like they move, they don't move forward because they're inoculated with too much information, you know? So you kind of want to find out 
what their need is. And if they're doing the relationship resonance program and, you know, like, hey, and you tell them about the imprinting of the rings thing, you know, they, they might be like, hey, then this is something that I should keep doing. You know, we're, we're still kind of fighting from time to time. Let's just say your, your client says that we're still kind of fighting from time to time, which you know that that means that after a while they imprint their, their negative energies on it again. They may want to have the machine to keep resetting that ring so that way they can get the ultimate results. So it's kind of just like finding out what they need and then knowing that the AOScan can help them out. Does that make sense? Um, someone couldn't attend, but they text me their question they want me to address. Yeah, that's cool. Um, okay, so someone is wondering, he's a practitioner himself. He's wondering about the relationship program, the relationship resonance program, how to incorporate those sessions along with the AO scan. So um, if you're a practitioner yourself, or if you're wanting to get this done yourself, um, there is a program, the relationship residence program. Um, it takes a little bit of time to do the interview, but it's definitely worth it. It's amazing. We've had it done on us. Someone um, did it for they're, us. They're tough questions. They're, they're not easy. The, 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 interview... the more open you are, the better healing and results you're going to get though. Yeah. So the Fact. more open, raw, authentic you can be about like your past relationships and your childhood growing up, the better results you're going to see. So um, once you do that part, so let's see, I'm going to talk to him as a practitioner. So if you're doing that on your clients, then just start with, and he would be trained how to question them and how to do the sessions. So as you're doing the sessions, just like we were talking about um, those specific frequencies, while you're doing that, and if they're okay with it, send them the um, relationship uh, enhancement, um, find out what they're struggling with. So say if like the wife cannot forgive the husband for some reason, send her forgiving frequencies. So it makes it a little bit easier to be able to forgive him. Um, say the husband. Can I give it a good example too? Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, I know it's, it's kind of a, uh, uh, you know, rated NC-17, but um, also too in there, and I was kind of shocked that it had it, it had, um, I guess, female and male sort of libido frequencies. Yeah. So that could be a problem too, where the male has a low libido or female does, and you can send, I forgot what it's called though, is it like enhancement, like male enhancement? Male enhancement, female or enhancement. Female yeah, enhancement. That, yeah, that helps. And there, trust me, there's a lot of couples that struggle with that, that, you know, like, you know, the male, I mean, you're driving down the freeway, there's like, erectile dysfunction thing always there on the, on the billboard but um that can put a huge uh hammer in the relationship and they don't know why and um you know a body could could a code session could help but why not send frequencies to him too you know so right right so yep that's that's what we would do and then same thing you can if you want to send them you know a bracelet for her to wear crystal necklace for him to wear They're, they make pretty cool manly ones you're not wearing any right now oh you have this one though right yeah so you can just, you know, imprint something cool to send him so he can wear it. You can put it. So if you act, then if you actually have the device, if I'm speaking to those people, you can put it into your water. You can put it into sugar pellets. You can, so say a child has a hard time taking his supplements or he doesn't want to smell like essential oils. Like it makes one of my kids really like gag, but he benefits from it really well. when he wears them. Um, I just started putting it into his water we've done some supplements from one of our kids into his water and then he just drinks it. And so then it's a lot easier for the kids to take their supplements, but you can put any kind of um, frequency into there and just drink it as well. So if you put it just into water, you want to drink it right away though. Um, it, they say, I don't, it's not a thing to add, like <laughs> add vodka to water. <laughs> I mean, that's what he said. I mean, I know. I don't, I mean, I, I, I don't know if you should, I don't know if you should promote that. No, I'm not I mean, promoting that at all. We're not promoting that, but he's he did just say saying that. that it sticks to alcohol better. I mean, we don't drink, so yeah, but, but or sugar. So if you drink like a, add like a lemonade, put a lemonade in there. If you're not going to, if your kids aren't going to drink it right away. The, the last thing we want is them to tell their husband, like, you know, it's like, I think that, the, can you put the frequency of my alcohol here? It's like, I gotta keep up my high frequency. I don't know. That's a horrible We don't want to promote that, so. I heard it from somebody else. I am not promoting that. 
yeah. But um, yeah, so the, but but the sugar pills. Let's go back to the sugar, sugar pills. Pill that, that, that's on. great, you know, sugar pills. Um, and I actually had sugar pills yesterday for my um, because I I had a um, uh, some I not some I had COVID, and um, you know, now that we're doing more research, they talk about how you know there's a lot of man manipulation to that, you know. And I don't care if they're hearing me right now. I'm gonna call it out what it is. But <laughs> but um, but you know what it is. So some people have been receiving post symptoms like like strange post symptoms, uh, women having irregular menstruation, um, you know, men having other issues, uh, a lot of brain fog. Um, I've had kind of like a remaining cough, but it's just interesting that she gave me uh, sugar pills and it was like, I guess like, if you've had a cough for a long time then you should you probably have some form of bronchitis. So she gave me some sugar pills and I was just like, don't mind if I eat these, you know? So they were just, but we, we would obviously give it to our son who has, um, who has ADD. Um, you know, because it's just like, it's so easy to eat. It's, it, it, you would love it. It's, it's sugar, <laughs> you know, so, you know. but uh, you know what? Hassan has a good question here because he's been raising his hand for a long time. His, his arm probably hurts. Sorry, Hassan. I will. Well, no worries. No worries. I appreciate, you know, the session. Um, so reverting back to the, the point you made earlier about the propensity percentage of uh, an individual creating a heart wall, yeah. can that same question be applied to uh, perhaps attracting and trapping emotions. Cause I know some of us really, uh, as soon as we experience these, uh, these emotions, we trap them immediately, uh, okay. more so than others, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, so is there a point where we can sort of reduce, you know, that, that percentage? Yeah. So, the, so that's a great question, actually. Yeah. So it would be the same question propensity to produce trapped emotions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and then, you know, what you could do too, is that again, um, like let's say you do incorporate AO scan with this is mm -hmm. I, I don't see a, a better way to restore and center your emotional homeostasis than doing the five uh what's it called the voice um, the, inner voice. the inner voice like morning you can even do it morning afternoon and night and it only takes 15 seconds and then they give you a specific binaural beat to listen to even shades like or if you wear certain color shades while you're listening to it can also enhance it too, uh, which a uh, shout out to those hippies out there that were wearing yellow and no one understood why they were wearing <laughs> yellow. But now, but now, but now maybe they were a little bit ahead of their time. And they're like, no, this is actually helping out, um, you know, my emotional psych, uh, physiology. So I just think, um, but yeah, that, and I also recommend something that I don't talk about a lot, but I also recommend clients to um, go into float therapy because the reality is, is, you know, float therapy is, is, is becoming a trend. There's actually a documentary, if you haven't watched it yet, called Float Nation. It's, an, it's only an hour long, but it talks about the long-term effects of doing float therapy. Um, I especially recommend it with any veterans, because I used to work with veterans. I, have a, I, have a, I work with veterans. I'd give them six sessions for free if they have PTSD. And um, I would tell them that some even areas, um, some clinics, they give a free, uh, a free, um, a float therapy session per month if you're a veteran. I've seen that in Vegas once. But the point is, is that if you go on a consistent basis, they actually have white paper studies on, on everything. It has like 25 benefits. So the point is, is that if you're constantly kind of taking care of yourself as flow therapy, your body starts just changing and starts becoming less reactive and, you know, less, you know, super emotional, you know, so it kind of uh, can, can bring you some peace too. So, um, but yeah, definitely recommend um, probably the voice scan on a daily basis. And then, uh, and then checking out the propensity percentage for trapped emotions. So does that answer your question? Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Great question. Another thing to add to, to the, um, those beats that you're talking about, if there's anyone new on here that didn't hear this part, they are specifically for you and your emotions that you're feeling right now. The software is the same as getting as like the lie detector. So very pretty accurate. Um, and the, those melodies are, it's beautiful, like melodies to listen to, but inside of there, it's healing frequencies that your body is specifically needing at that time to help with sadness, to help with anger, to help with, um, there's so many different ones on there, but so you, you can listen to those and they're only about two minutes each. So each one's two minutes. There's four that you get at a time that your body, it's like the four most important ones that your body is like craving, needing at that time. So if you just listen to those ones back to back it, and then there's glasses, colored glasses that you can get that if you do both together, um, there's so many like proven studies that it's helping so much when you combine them together at the same time. 
Yeah, so I don't I don't make fun of my wife when I walk into a room and she just looks over at me and she has <laughs> these green glasses and I slowly walk away. Um, but it, yeah, it's, I'm changing laundry and um, yeah, I'm, yeah. I, was, I was like, you do you, girl. I mean, hey, if it helps you out emotionally, <laughs> then bam, you know. So Holly whatever. has a question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Actually, yeah, Holly and then Nancy too. So go ahead. Go ahead, Holly. She's up there. Right, go ahead, Holly. No, I don't have a question. Oh. Oh, okay. No, okay, just, sorry. Just, just the hand went up for some. Oh, oh I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> okay, um, Nancy. Oh no, it's Nancy. Na sorry, Nancy has a question. Sorry. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if you could um, help people with their animals, like just you know clearing things that might be going on with their pets. Yes, there is a pet section in here. You just need to get awesome. a little cute collar for them, which they the company sells. Maybe it's not a collar, it's like a tag that you put onto the collar that they can sell. Um, and then you're able to do that. So there's a section in here. It's just like creating one for so humans. You take a photo of the, the cat's face, remember? That's cute. Yeah, you do actually. Yeah, that's cool. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yep, there's a section in there that you can create for them. This little pet section right here. Oh, that's, I don't know if they can, just the glare is awful, I'm so sorry. But That's awesome, yeah. okay we don't have any pets right now so we haven't done that one but there are a bunch of testimonials i can send anyone who wants to see them of pets that would be great yeah humans babies yeah so so i think the cool thing too is uh, so you can as a practitioner as well uh imagine working with the cat but then also doing a scan on the cat and seeing everything you know and then sending frequencies again for me it's just like I think it's just tag team, in my opinion, just like, you know, um, you know, I always promise myself that, like, I want to add a lot of value to my clients. And if I have to wear a darn porcupine suit to do it and look like a like a weirdo, I'll do it just because I, I, I didn't say I'm only going to be a practitioner. And that's the only way I'm going to help people because every every the different different strokes different folks you know maybe there's this certain energy really resonates with that client or um AO scan really resonates with them and they want more healing from that so i want to like have a tool belt of like these are the things that i have that can really benefit you in multiple ways i think everyone's if you're a real energy healer i think you and i we all agree with like we didn't come here to be like i'm fixated on this we just really wanted to provide value any way possible um so awesome thank you so much yes cool Stapaka gave us oh, a heart oh, okay. uh, she gave us a heart if you guys want to give us hearts too um, we're we're totally cool Stapaka like she put the heart away she's like, she's like I'm not doing the heart. oh Hassan's got a heart yeah okay that was funny like Stapaka just like takes away her heart she's like no nope. I think it just goes away too much too much attention I think it goes away okay I don't know let's go back to Sarah Sarah's got her hand up oh she just want to give you the high five <laughs> Give us a high five. So, uh, can you guys hear me? Yes, 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 we can. Hello. Okay, so I have another question about the um, AO. So uh, what you've said about it is so amazing, and I am seriously considering getting one of them. But the question that has come to my mind right now is I am one of those people who attract all of the mosquitoes that are out there wherever we're in a group. So um, groups of friends always love having me around because they know if I'm there, nobody else is going to get a bite. Could we possibly install frequencies that would prevent mosquitoes from being attracted to a person using this device? Not real mosquitoes, right? Or real mosquitoes? Real mosquitoes? <laughs> like the little things that suck your Real mosquitoes, yeah. Oh my gosh, I would love to. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. I would love to know that because I actually I'm not a fan of mosquitoes at all. Um, my my wife makes fun of me sometimes, but in a, in a good way. But um, I get the little lumps, you know, like you know whatever. Someone just um, actually gave me some information about. Um, I'm trying to remember what I, I text you. I text you earlier. Somebody says, "Are you taking this?" Oh, B one complex. Yeah, is it B one complex? I think double check. Give me one second, guys. Literally, I just had a conversation with someone. Oh yeah. It's called uh, have some extra B1 complex. I'm not sure why she gave me that information, but she was just saying like, I was telling her about my, my uh, I can't go to the forest because the mosquitoes will just eat me alive. And she says, well, B1 complex kind of keeps them at bay or maybe you have your, your um, you know, I'm wondering if maybe we, we can, you know, with AOScan, you could send a B1 complex to someone 
you know, like you can probably do that, right? Yep, you can. The, in the um, on the vital scan, the vital you scan. can. Um, I while while you're maybe answering the question, I'm going to look around to see if there are any specific frequencies for that. The other thing too that is really cool is there's another section that goes over homeopathics that you can send yourself or send clients. <clears throat> there's 41 of them. So pages and pages of, these are all the different things that the homeopathics can do. I know you can't read it, all of it, but it's a whole big list of, there's 41 different categories of all these different things that it helps. So I'm gonna look on here for a second to see, I'm sure there are some that help with that. So do you wanna take another question while I look at this for a minute? Yeah, and, and, and speaking on that too, my, I don't know um, what made my wife do this, but it was really awesome, is she actually sent me um, a ton of homeopathic stuff. Uh, do, do you remember how many you sent to me? 10. Yeah, cool, so she sent me 10 and I wasn't- 40. <laughs> yeah, she didn't really tell me about this. And uh, in the morning time, I kid you not, I don't know what happened to me, but I have never felt so elevated my whole entire life. It was the strangest thing. I was just, my energy was so high. My mind was so clear. I was like on happy mode. I was like, whoa, what is going on? And then later on, she's like, oh yeah, I just sent you some homeo, whatever. And I'm just like, whatever you sent me, can you send that to me every single day? Um, but, um, but yeah, we don't even know what, which ones they were, but it's crazy how much like the, one frequency can do what one frequency can do do you guys see that paragraph there i mean it's it's absolutely insane i mean it, it's just uh like nox vomica number 36 probably has over 70 things on here that it helps out like i'm just like holy cow and so she sent me 10 of these and uh, again i felt like cloud nine um didn't know how to explain it i literally felt high and in a very good way um but yeah, so just kind of note to self. But yeah, so did you come up with? Um... I'll, I'll keep looking. Don't okay. The next one. Yeah, let's answer the next question. We'll we'll come back to that. There's a lot to look through, so give me a second. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question though because I want to know that answer because yeah, I'm not a. I'm, he a... swells up, like, and if his hands, he's muscle testing all day. He like we can't go camping because <laughs> of this one. Okay, man. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna figure this out. Thanks for putting me on the spot there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, have you guys ever seen like uh, like uh, Hitch? You know, like do you remember? Oh, it one? is bad. It is really bad. You know, you guys have seen Hitch. You know, where Will Smith like all of a sudden eats something that he's allergic to, and he's like, ah, like and his lip is all. <laughs> okay, so that's me. It, that it is really, really that's bad. that's me. That's me. So um, okay, so let's let's keep looking for uh, questions here. Oh, someone wrote a pretty cool testimonial here. I did it on my dog, and this helped so so much with dental pain, dry skin, and itching. Cool. Awesome, Holly. Uh, Stephanie already answered my question. Okay, does the AOSK require a monthly service for all of what it offers or is it all exclusive when you get the device? Great question. While you're so, answering that, I'm gonna go charge the laptop, otherwise we don't have some problems. So go ahead. Okay, so um, yes. So to get the, um, it's, it's 149 a month to be able to access all that it can do, to be able to get all the updates, um, to be able to access the quantum field and the scalar waves. Um, is that again? Yeah. Yep, there is, there is a 149 a month fee. Is there something else that was on there? No, that was it. Um, okay, any other? Um, but also oh. the updates that come, they are totally worth it and then some. And right now, you can get grandfathered in at that price. Um, it's maybe going up in the future, but right now it's, it's at the 149 a month price. Great question. Uh, all right. Anybody? Oh, Hassan has his hand up. Go ahead, Hassan. All right. Yes. Uh, this is actually from also some, I had this question and somebody else in the YouTube comments has it, uh, Carla Lopez. Um, she said, could I release trapped emotions on behalf of somebody without their knowledge? I know I've done this on, on uh, my nieces, but does this work on adults as well? Yeah, so what you want to do is you always want to ask permission uh, from, from people, um, but there is kind of like a, um, a loophole uh, in that uh, I've never, ever, ever worked on somebody without their permission, unless they were 
unless it was like I was working with the mom and the mom said, can you work on my daughter or my son, you know, then, then obviously they were under 18, you know, but I'm like, if you ask my wife, I'm like super militant with that. Like, um, like I'll be like, we might have to reschedule. Like I, I won't work on them unless I get an email or a text. But one of the things that you can do that's really interesting is you can actually, um, you know, if you were, if you have, for example, let's say you want to work on the husband uh, and the, the husband's not into this at all, like get, the, get away from me. So then I'll work with the wife and I'll say, um, can I work on your son, you know? And then uh, she'll be like, yeah, of course, because she believes in it. And then I'll work on the son and I'll specifically ask, are there any inherited emotions that go up through the father's line? And then I'll release those. And so it's, it's technically releasing it from the father. And I'll also say, are there any shared emotions between the son and the father? That's also healing the dad too, because there's, you know, there's shared, right? But you're, I'm technically only working on the son. So that's kind of what I've done. I've done sometimes where um, I've, I've had to work on a child and then just, and it's going to benefit the child anyway, because you're releasing inherited stuff and shared stuff, but it also affects the dad as well, who's not open. But yeah, I, I definitely get permission from everyone. Does that answer your, your question? Yes, you nailed it. Thank you. Yeah, cool. And I think my wife is still looking. Okay. <laughs> All right. If anyone else has some questions here, is there anybody that that um, um, you know has like some type of thing where they feel really stuck in? Like, go ahead and raise your hand. Like, if you're a physical ailment that maybe you feel really stuck. Um, go ahead and raise your hand. Like you just like, there's like, oh, my hip, I've worked on my hip thousands of times, but nothing happens or, or my shoulder or, okay, Colette, Colette, what, what, what's the thing real quick? I, I want to just do maybe a quick five. Are you guys okay? Put a, oh, a bunch of people now just raise it. <laughs> okay. Now let me just muscle test. I know I said Colette, but let me just muscle test. It could be Colette again, but I just want to make yeah. sure there's a reason why I want to pick someone uh, to kind of benefit everyone. And guess what? Actually, it is Colette. Okay, so I went back to Colette. Okay, so uh, what 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 area do you have issues with? I'm just kind of curious. Um, my left calf. Left. I sprained my ankle probably six years ago now, and it just, the calf has never been the same since. Okay, yeah, so so let me, uh, if you were to kind of stand up real quick, do you, you guys put a Put a happy face and so if it's okay if I can work on her for the next just five minutes and then we'll we'll go back to QA. But we'll go ahead and put a happy face if you guys are cool with that. And we'll see how many people are supportive of you. And the people who are not supportive of you, I'm gonna find you and open up your heart chakra. No. No? No. No, okay, all right, no. All right, my wife just put me back in place and don't do that. Okay, so um, okay, so let's go start with Colette here. Let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and share my screen. Give me one second. By the way, you don't want to leave before seven o'clock because we're going to, we're going to give you guys the special promotion. Only you guys are getting it. Um, so you guys are all lucky. Like what we're going to share is a pretty cool gift for every one of you guys um, from Compass Healing. Um, kind of a cool little promotion. So we're going to do is let me just share my screen real quick. And there we go. And let's go ahead and go here. And okay, so typically when I first start, so um, Colette, uh, how, how young are you, by the way? 31. 31, okay. So uh, I'm gonna move it to the side. Oh no, no, that wasn't a good idea. Okay, so, um, okay, we're going here. Then we're gonna go here. Can you guys all see my little uh, body code stuff here? Yes. Very good. All right. So, so Colette, so typically when I work with someone new, I, I just go, are there any trapped emotions that might be affecting that area? But let's go ahead and let's just take 10 seconds real quick. We'll just ask for some help, you know, in our mind and let's all do it and send Colette some love over here and then we'll just jump right into it. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and usually typically when I first start to say, are there any trapped emotions that are affecting that area? Because maybe it's not even a body code thing at all, right? So I, sometimes I, I, I call it the low hanging fruit. I just go, are there any trapped emotions that are, are causing this? Because you, you guys have to remember something very powerful is that <clears throat> most, actually 99.99% of the testimonials you will see on the emotion code, which are pretty mind blowing, are all emotion code. You guys know that, right? It's not really body code, it's just emotion code. So 
I, I never devalue the emotion code just because it's kind of like the, 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 the spine of the, the whole work. So I, I'll, I'll usually just start off in the beginning and I'll just say, you know, are there any trapped emotions affecting? I believe you said it was your left calf, you said? Correct. Your left calf. And then right now, if you were to stand up on it real quick, what's, what's the number on that from a scale from one to 10? Like 10 being really annoying, one not really being there? Uh, like a five. The five. Okay. So I'll, I'll just connect with you real quick and say, are there any trapped emotions? And let's have some fun with this, right? Everyone want to have fun. Okay. So if, if you, let's do the, and you're probably used to this. If I mentioned age or emotion, if any memory pops up in your mind, just a really quick, like, I think this has to do with this, or I think this has to do with that. If not, I'll just release. If you don't remember, I'll just release it anyway. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. So let's, uh, let's see what the first thing is here. Um, okay, so the first thing that comes up is uh, discouragement here. Um, yeah, so discouragement. So let me see where this came from real quick. Right now you can just sit down and relax. And so let's see, 31, 30, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, just graduated college and I couldn't find a job right out of school. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's, if you notice too, I always tell people, I'm like, the first thought is usually your intuition at work, you know? So I'll say, and you just lean on that, right? So I'll say, is that what it has to do with, you know, body said bullseye? Let's go and just remove this discouragement here. I'll say, is another trapped emotion? Your body said, yeah, let's see what the next one is. Um, okay. There's a dread here, like dreading something. Let me see. 31, 30. Oh, this is recent. This is just last year. Could even be now. It could be 29, but something you're dreading. I think kind of ring a bell just recently. Um, probably just my job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Is this your job at all? Well, you know, it's, I make a joke about it. I go, the conscious brain is like, I think it's like my, my job, maybe, you know, the subconscious, like, just tell them it's your job, just, you know, um, anyway, that's, I don't know why the, the, the subconscious has to sound very mafia like, but anyway, let's go ahead and remove the dread here. Let's see, is there another trapped emotion? There is. Let's see what the next one is. Okay. Um, yeah, just like insecurity. Yeah, so let me see. Um, 30, 20, 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's around 13 ish. So we're not, we're talking the teens time. And usually I keep it kind of simple. I just say, is this more home life or more school life? I'm going to just try to keep it simple around that. What, what, what rings a bell with that 13 insecurity? Um, nothing in particular, just your typical awkward 13 yeah. year old. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and I can even ask your body too. Uh, let's say, is, is it that typical thing there? Or is, or is, there, or is there a culprit? Your, your body said there's a culprit. So if I say, is it, is it one of those two? It is. Is it the home life? No, it's school. Yeah. So there could have just been a moment where at school you felt kind of like, eh, not too secure. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and remove mm -hmm. this insecurity here. Okay. Let's see. There's another trapped emotion. There is. Let's see what else we find here. Um, uh, okay. So the next one is um, frustration. Okay. So frustration. Where does this come from? Let's see. Three, one, three, three, three. It's around 28. What is that? Four years ago, 2017-ish uh, around there. Any kind of ring a bell? Kind of being frustrated about something around that time. Um, I'm sure there were things. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So again, we don't have to know what that is. So do we need to know more about it? No. Let's just go and remove this frustration. I'll say, is there another trapped emotion here? And the body says no. Is there? A, is there a hidden one? There is. Okay. Uh, okay, so you have an inherited one here. Um, yeah, it's, it's inherited overwhelmed. Uh, okay, so let's see where this comes from. Um, mom's side, then her dad. Um, yeah, then his dad. There's no pattern here, is there? No. Does it go beyond this last father here? It does. Let's see, three, five, ten. Less than 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So about six generations here. Okay. So I'm going to remove this inherited overwhelm. Okay. Let's see, is another uh, hidden trapped emotion here? No. So just go ahead and uh, take a deep breath in real quick. And then let's go ahead and walk around maybe, um, you know, five steps, you know, walk around uh, five or six steps. And then let's check your left calf. Let's see if it feels. I forgot to eat my stuff that you packed. I only ate junk. Okay. Well, 
my yeah. left calf is about i would say like a three a three okay cool hello oh, oh. <laughs> hold on a second let me just try to mute someone out real quick hold on uh who is that okay Hey, if everyone can just mute your phone out, that'd be great. That way we can kind of get a clear line with Colette here, uh, even though that, that girl sounded you know, very cute. But okay, so, um, so good. So we went down to a three. Let me just try one more thing here, okay? And then we'll go back to Q&A real quick. Is there anything else? Because I'm kind of a perfectionist here. Is there anything else that may be causing uh, pain in that area? Your body said yes. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's go here. Okay, circuits or systems. Okay, let me move this guy somewhere. Okay, so circuits and systems. Um, there's a disconnection here. And uh, yeah, it's a physical disconnection. Okay, so there's two things that are not uh, communicating here. Okay, and uh, let me see what, uh, where is that? Let me see. Okay, circuits and systems again. Um, Yeah, it's like a gland here, and um, another. And, um, okay, yeah. So what's coming up here is um, uh, the adrenals. Okay, so the adrenals are—they're not communicating. Is it, is it between the left and the right one? Your body said yes. Look, if you look down here, it's kind of interesting. Um, muscle connections, calf muscles. Do you see that uh, down there? <laughs> wow. uh, right there, calf muscles. So the left and the, the left and the right adrenals are not communicating. So let's let's check the communication. Are you at 100%? No less than 190, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. Wow, so it's pretty low. I, I, do, do, you feel, do you deal with um, like fatigue? Do you feel tired a lot? Yes, absolutely. I have fibromyalgia. Oh, fibromyalgia. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Also, um, difficulty coping with stress, um, yes. brain fog. Yep. Okay, yeah, so 190, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Okay, so you're at 26%, okay? Communication to the left and the right calf. Let's see if we can get that up higher. We'll get it to 100% and then I'll have you walk around again. Um, okay. let's, see what, let's see what this one is. Um, okay, the first thing is there's a toxin. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, there is a toxin here. Let's see what this is. Um, yeah, just electromagnetic radiation and... Uh, yeah, just electrical field energy. At any point, you, could, you know, you could have had a, you know, just a lot of plugs around you. And and usually what you can do too is if I remove this electrical field energy here, um, I can ask your body, um, would it benefit you to kind of do a reset for your body in regards to electrical field energy? And your body said yes. So for how many days should you do like maybe at nighttime just to kind of unplug everything before you go to bed? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So like about maybe like five days, maybe. So five days, just do kind of a reset at night. We just unplug everything at nighttime, just kind of go to bed with nothing, you know, connected. I'm going to go ahead and remove this electrical field energy. So are we at 26%? No, 26, 30, 35, 40, 45. So now we're at 42%. Okay, so let's see what else we find here. Let's go here. Um... Okay, there's some type of energy here, and uh, there's some type of reverberation here, and uh, okay, so what's coming up is there's a miasm here. Okay, so miasm is you know basically uh, something that gets passed down from your family member to family member, and um, yeah, I know. And so um, let's see, then it goes to the father's side, um, then it goes to the mother's side. Um, then it goes to the mother's side again. There's no pattern here to this one, no. So let's see, three, five, 10, 20. This is 14 generations. There's no pattern to this one. So let's go ahead and remove this miasm here for you. And I'll take a deep breath after that one there. It's kind of a, a big one there. Uh, let's see, are we at 42%? No, 42, 45, 50, 55, 65, 75, 80, 85, 95. So we're like right there. It's like 90, 3 to 2. <laughs> 91, we're like at 91. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep digging here. Let's see what else we find. Uh, some other energy here. Oops, wrong one. And let's see. Yeah, there is a reverberation here. And 
Yeah, so there's basically a, a emotional reverberation. So it's kind of a, a ringing energy. And so um, let me see what emotion this is real quick. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's overwhelmed. Let me just double check this. Um, no, it's not overwhelmed. It's longing. Yeah, kind of a ringing energy of longing. Okay, 31, 30, 20. Yeah, it's around 24. Anything kind of ring a bell around 24, kind of like longing for something around that time, like something's missing in your life, or maybe you wish you had more of something around that time. What, what kind of rings a bell? Is this work-related, relationship, family? What, what's, what do you think of this, Benny? Um, I'm really not sure. Actually, maybe longing uh, uh, with my job. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. With, yeah. With what's going on with your job at that time? What, what do you think was this longing of what? What do you think? Um just to have a set schedule i would i was on a shift where i would work three weeks on the day shift and then on the weekend i would have to work midnights so then i'd have to switch and it just really messed with my body okay anything to do with that oh there you go bullseye and you know what it, there, this was an emotional longing so it could have been a day where it was like really stressing you out you know so i'm going to go ahead and remove this longing here okay then one five six seven eight nine. okay close word 100 percent. so now i have the intention to reconnect the communication between uh, two, um, where, where were we? uh, it was the uh, two adrenals. Make sure that's hundred percent communication. Okay. So go ahead and take a deep breath in real quick and uh, go ahead and walk around, maybe walk around 10 steps, just a little bit more, you know, and then, um, after the 10 steps, let's check your calf. Let's see if it feels a little bit lighter, more, more relaxed there. I know you said it was like a three. Yeah, it's definitely down to like a one now. Okay, cool. Yeah, is there anything else we can do to, to release this here? Your body says no. Now, now, watch this. This is kind of fun. You already talked about how you're dealing with fibromyalgia. So you're probably dealing with like immune system stuff, you know? Um, yep. So um, if you give it about two hours and drink plenty of water, I think that might go to a 0.5 or to a zero uh, if we okay. do that. So, um, but yeah, how do, you, how do you feel? Do you feel a little calmer, more relaxed? How are you feeling over there? Yeah, a little bit lighter. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Good. So, yeah. So I'm glad we got to do that. So, uh, and then let's do this. Let's go ahead and uh, let me see. Let me go back to our uh, stop sharing here. Thank you so much for volunteering, by the way, everyone uh, send her some love there. And, Thank you very uh, much for doing it. Yeah. You're so welcome. But like I said, the body code's amazing. Just like, I just, I, I'm always mind blown, but like, I'm like, I don't I have no idea what I'm going to find, you know? And, um, but yeah, so thank you so much for volunteering. Okay. To my wife, <laughs> my wife is beautiful. Come on, everyone knows this. Okay, okay. So, uh, did you did we get any mosquito updates or no? No mosquito. mosquito no, updates. Okay, we will get back to we will get back to you with the mosquito update. I did find one. I did find one that would probably work though. Now I forgot where I put it. Okay. So, okay. So maybe we can do. Uh, let's do one more question here, and then I'll give you guys the new. Um, uh, we'll, we'll tell you guys some really cool news at what what Compass Healing is doing, and you guys get to hear it first. Um, yeah, any questions there? Okay, so I don't know if Raquel, Stephanie, do you guys have questions or Nancy or the hand, Nancy went down, uh, down, Raquel or Stephanie, if you have a question. Oh, Melissa. Melissa, yeah, go ahead, Melissa. <laughs> oh, or go ahead. Um, oh, yeah, go ahead, Melissa. Um, I have a question. I have a client that I continuously um, find a trapped emotion of inherited abandonment over and over again from the mom and I also tested myself to see if I was possibly being biased I don't know if you ever encountered something like that that you kind of test out over a heart wall or in in a in the same session uh, what to do there really <laughs> what answer that yeah so I I had something kind of similar happen to me with one of my well a couple of my sessions if a specific thing keeps coming up like all the time like in that day if there's something that kept coming up with every client i saw or the specific client if something kept coming up i've i've heard that we can do something what's, what is that called where we like project our own stuff on like it's actually something about in us it's, it's like a reverberation that kind of so i finally there. tried like is this something i need clear myself and i got a yeah and i'm like crap okay so i think it may be some maybe you'll have to check and see it that could possibly be going on but do you have any other suggestions of what could be going on yeah um and, and 
And, um, you know, sometimes from what I've heard too, is that um, maybe you may need to work on your mom. Uh, is your mom um, alive still? My mom, yes. Okay, good. Yeah, so um, you never know too, like um, for some reason, your subconscious might want your mom to get some form of healing, but like in your subconscious way, it's like remove something from your mom's side, you know? But um, maybe your mom needs to remove some inherited emotions or maybe you need to work on her. And then all of a sudden that kind of goes away because the subconscious is like, oh, you're helping out so many people. Like, don't forget about your mom. You know, like there, there, there's like a symbol behind it usually, you know? But um, I think sometimes it's more of what she said, which is more of like, it's probably something you're projecting. You need to check if you, there's some specific inherited emotion. For example, um, I had a client who, or a client slash practitioner who she kept finding betrayal, you know, in people, you know, and I'm just like, yeah, that's, you're probably reverberating betrayal to other people. There's, you need to work on your like betrayal trauma that you need, you know, and there, there's so many ways you can work on that. Like, you know, are there any trapped emotions that, that, um, I created during betrayal or um, are there any imbalances that that I don't trust people you know and then once you remove all that stuff all of a sudden now you're getting clear muscle testing you know so I would just check first if it comes from you I would maybe just surprise your mom hey mom happy birthday early birthday I know it's at 11 months from now but um, <laughs> I want to do a session on you real quick and see if there's any inherited stuff that maybe I can release from you or um, just ask your body you know should we work on inherited stuff for her or whatever you know and then Maybe it'll maybe you'll start not getting that answer as much. Awesome. No, thank you very much. Yep. You're welcome. So we're gonna we're gonna end our okay, there's more questions here, but but you can always uh, you know send us a, um, one of the things that I want to share with you guys. Some of you guys are put a put a P down there if you got on here because you're part of my Patreon site. Um, and some of you guys are, so you got that's how you know about this. Um, yeah, see a lot of you guys are on it. And I know Melissa, thank you so much for your testimonial. It really touched me because uh, she knows I wake up sometimes really early to do a podcast and she's like, what are you doing up right now? So, and, and when she found out again that I was doing, um, you know, podcast Monday through Friday, she didn't realize how much value I was for. She's like, wait, wait, what? You know, and like, we kind of came to a really good conversation where we think next month we're going to kind of change the prices for it, but we're going to have everyone who's on there already stay grandfathered in. So all you guys who are in that, you guys can stay grandfathered and get all the benefits. But I think next month in order, you know, we always talk about, isn't, isn't that one of the biggest diseases in energy healing is kind of like, um, you know, being worthy, you know, like unworthiness, you know? And we had a great conversation last night on, you know, maybe next month it's time for me to move up in prices, but anyone who's supported me so far, I'm going to keep you as where you're at. If you want to upgrade to do it, you can, you know, that's a really nice way of saying thank you to me because obviously of all the work that I've done, but you don't have to, you know, so, um, but that, that's going to change next month. So giving you a heads up on that. Uh, oops, I said it to the wrong person again. So, um, but yeah, I'll just go ahead and put it down um, to everyone here. So if you want to look in the comments section, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my link there. If you're not part of Patreon, just letting you know, I'm adding a ton of value there. Um, because really, really what I want to do guys is I want to become like an information conduit. Like for example, next month, I'm going to be reading, um, uh, feelings buried alive, never die. Um, go put a happy face if you've read that already, but I'm going to be reading through that, reading every single 10 pages, putting my commentary on that, thinking of what body code sessions you could do. Like I'm going to like really analyze very powerful energy healing books. So you're going to be part of a, um, an accelerated learning book club. Plus, we're doing our Q&A every single month. I think this Q&A is going to grow even more. I think we're going to have like 50 people next time, maybe 100 people next time. So because I know that AO scan is getting more and more popular. And um, also, you get to ask me two questions a month. I get to send you a personalized video. Um, that's only nine bucks a month right now. But next month, it's going to change. So um, definitely take advantage of that um, Patreon link down there if you're not part of it. Trust me. You'll want to listen to the podcast there. Um, and yeah, now we're going to go share our special promotion. So if you want to write this down, um, anybody who's, who's interested, uh, we're get, we have a uh, amazing promotion this month. And uh, if you email my wife tonight, uh, she'll make it happen. There's no code to it, uh, but you just have to email my wife. So you want to email this, uh, write her email down, which is schedulemyhealing at gmail.com. So schedulemyhealing at gmail.com so here's what we came up with um is that so typically when you want to work let's say with me um there's there, there's a six session package and there's a 12 one so for you guys who are on here who watch this zoom 
Um, the promotion is if you get a six session package, typically it's like you're at um, 105 per session, you know, for six sessions. Now it's gonna, we're gonna take off a hundred bucks off, um, you know, so, um, so instead of like 630, it's gonna be 530. Okay, so that's for the six session package, but here's what's gonna come with it also. So this is what Jess is gonna do for you guys. So we are going to throw in some, brace frequency bracelets that we're gonna give you so it'll be something like one of these guys here um that we want to imprint for you that you can wear your frequencies we're gonna mail it to you yeah so yes we'll ship these to you um and what's another, thing, another thing we're gonna do too is um something that she doesn't do uh typically on a on an intro scan and this is gonna be really cool for those of you who are getting into AO scan or maybe you haven't done this with her um there's something else you wanted to add as well yeah so my the, I usually do one free like demo AO scan per family. Um, we do an inner voice vital scan and we do, I let you choose a frequency that you want to try out. I don't do the um, comprehensive one free anymore, but for anyone on here, we're going to, we're going to let you choose three problematic areas that you're like struggling with things you already know are bothering you. And I will just do the phone call. Um, be able to figure out what it is exactly that's going on. So we're going to do a um, comprehensive scan. You can choose three areas and three frequencies. Why not? Let's yeah. throw on three frequencies yes. that you want me to send you. So she's going to send you three frequencies as well to help you in those in those areas you're having trouble with. So this is kind of cool. So it's actually, you're getting three different things. You're not only get to work with me, you get to also um, get, get these bracelets, like, you know, whichever bracelet you want. And we're going to basically... I'm going to ship it out to you and we're going to, whatever you what type of frequency you want, whether it's abundance or relationship or forgiveness, whatever, we're going to send it to you as a gift. And then also um, you get to have her do that scan for you and then look at three problematic areas that you feel stuck in and uh, try to see if we can help you out, you know? And so, so that's it. So, and then also we have the 12 session package. If you're like, Hey, I want to dive deep and get a higher discount. Uh, typically a 12 session package is $95 per session. Um, but we're going to do for you guys uh, only here, $200 off the top. So instead of uh, 1140, it's 940 for 12 sessions with me, which includes the bracelet gift that's imprinted plus the scan, the full scan with the three problematic areas. So it's pretty cool deal here. You're, you're getting kind of the both worlds here. You get, you get a, you know, a cool little designer thing for yourself. You also get to work with her and check this out from now on, you guys are hearing it first. Every time I do a six session package or a 12 session package with you, guess who you get to meet with to see where you need to go. You get a kind of a, a review session with her. And she'll, she's going to, she's going to talk to you. And it's almost like she goes, Hey, so how did everything go with Emmanuel with the six sessions? And then also, you know, she can think about what scanning you might need to do or give you some tips. She's, I've heard clients get super emotional with her because she gives the best tips. Like she'll be like, you need to, do, have you thought about using this, um, you know, oil or have you used this before? So she's really good at like wellness hacks. And so imagine that after a session, six sessions with me, you get to meet with her and then she can talk AO scan with you and she can talk about, you know, what wellness regimen could really help you out. So are you guys excited about that? Put an exclamation point if you're excited about that. Uh, just go ahead in the comment section below. Go ahead. I was going to say tonight moving forward. So anyone that purchases the package, we're going to start doing those things now. So, yeah. So, so again, everyone's excited about it. So just yeah. go ahead and just go ahead and email her uh, to schedule my healing at gmail.com. Just let her know, Hey, I'm in for the six or Hey, I'm in for the 12. Let's go. Uh, then uh, she will, we will do that all for you. We'll, we'll give you the bracelet scheduled for you a time with her. And then also do that follow up. It's almost like a follow up session with her at the end of our package. So you're getting pretty hooked up over there and we're, you know, giving you a big fat discount. So I uh, hope you guys take advantage of it. Again, email her and we, we're admonishing you guys to do it by tonight at some point. Um, so if you can't do it by tonight, just schedule uh, my healing at gmail.com and we'll go from there. And then also if anyone isn't involved in the Patreon forward slash healing the healer, you guys should get in before I upgrade to the different costs I'm about to do it, which is next month. And you'll, you'll see it if you think I'm bluffing, but next month, I am going to put it, I'm going to change the price. It's still going to be very fair, but it's not going to be $9 a month. So you guys who are all already in it, you guys will, um, you guys already hooked up and grandfathered it. So uh, thank you guys so much for, for being on here. Hope you guys gained some value. I'll put a V down there 
if you gain some value from this from Jessica. And I'm just so like, you guys have no idea how happy I am to see her here shining. And, and I know she just radiates light and, and um, she has so much information about the, that can really you know serve us. Really and um, wow. yeah, and um, I just, I, I, I've always seen something amazing in Jess and, and it's like, I'm not even, <laughs> well, I'm, can I share? Yeah, so, um, and I, I, I don't really feel like I could be the greatest man um, to you guys even if I don't have uh, someone supporting like you, me, so. All right, we're not gonna, I'm not, I'm trying not to get emotional either, but, um, but yeah, so it's just, you know, it really is a saying where it says that behind every good man is, is, is an amazing woman and I can tell you that my wife is that. And so she's here for you, she, she, um, and she deserves to be in the limelight. She deserves to share her heart with you guys. And I'm so glad you guys gave her that, that freedom to be able to just express herself. And uh, I really feel like she, you deserve that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys for being on here. And I'm going to actually uh, make this into a YouTube video. So if you know an energy healer who missed it, you know, uh, I can, I'm going to make it into a YouTube video um, sometime by tonight and then by tomorrow. Um, you know, we can, uh, it'll be on YouTube, but just kind of like a hidden link. Okay. So, um, thank you guys so much. Thank you for what you guys do. And, um, and I may also, um, like if you guys can, I, um, do me a small favor. You guys can do me a small favor. I posted on my Facebook. If some of you guys are my friends on Facebook on this event, if you guys can go ahead and comment below the value you got from this, that would really mean a lot to me because my friends, and you know how it is, I'm not a prophet in my own village, you know, uh, they go, oh, it's the Domino pizza guy, you know, um, you know, so if you guys can do me a favor and, and, and find my Facebook on my wall, you can comment below just what you guys thought about this event. That would really mean a lot to me because then people, all my friends will get some attention and I just really want to help out my friends uh, in the future. So thank you guys. Appreciate you. We'll talk soon.